Good morning, everybody. Okay, so this morning I thought we would do just a quick example of sealing. So you can see I got all my my gear here, my gloves, my glasses, my tape, my sealant, my gun, uh, the O important uh, paper towel, and of course the O important garbage can. I'm gonna get that even closer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do this morning quickly, hopefully, is I'm gonna show you the basics of taping and sealing. And so you can see here, I've already pre-taped uh, a bit of the area. Notice how the tape is a little ways back from the edge. It's not right tight against the edge. It's always back just a little bit so that we get better surface contact, edge and surface contact. And so I've done most of that, but I'm gonna show you how to do outside curves. Here, actually I'm gonna bring this. Maybe a little bit over here. Let's see here. Uh, okay, hopefully that's, that's okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is to, to cover this edge, I'm gonna cut little pieces. So I'll rip a little piece, I'm gonna go 45, again, back a little bit from the edge like that. And I'm gonna get another little piece. And I'm gonna keep it about the same edge distance there. And another little piece. So again, I end up with something that looks super professional when it's done. Okay, so that edge is done. So I'm gonna go over here. And again, keeping my edge. Whenever you put this stuff down, if you can, Always a really good idea, more the long spots than the short spots, uh, fold the end, like here. Notice I've got an end folded. That way I've got something to grab onto when I go to rip it off, because I tell you, there's nothing worse than trying to dig out a piece of tape when you're um, all gooey and you got stuff all over and you're, uh, it's awful. You get it on the material, you gotta come back and clean it with MEK. Now I'm gonna do the inside. So on this inside edge, you're gonna notice I'm not going to break the piece. I'm just going to slowly work it along the, the radius of the circle here. So again, I'm going to position it. So I've got a little bit, of, a little bit of edge showing right in there. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of with my finger, I'm going to sort start to hold and pull, pull it down, and then kind of fold a little piece down, pull it down. Again, making sure I keep that edge the same distance. Notice this is all folding up on this side. But that's okay, it's good. It's making actually a nice finished edge. There we go. And if I'm smart, I put my little folded edge so I've got something to grab onto when I'm done. Okay, and so now I've got it sealed all the way around the edge of my piece of material here. And so it's time to mix some goo. What do we got? So this is 870. Oh man, I'm gonna get my protective eyewear on, which is a smart idea. And I'm going to get some gloves on because I don't want to get this goo on me. You know what? I've got a shirt that's kind of hanging off. <laughs> Make sure you're wearing your crappy coveralls when you choose to uh, mix sealant because I tell you, once it's on there, it's on there for life. So you want to you wanna get the, be as careful as you can. There's my gloves. Okay, and so there we go. Oh, I got a baby one. Oh, crap. Well, we'll see if that works. Okay, you can see I got my baby mix here. This is 870, so this is corrosion uh, protecting stuff. What is this? This is 870, uh, blah, 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 870B, and I think it's B2. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this around. I can actually see, I don't know if you guys can see that in there. There's my, there's my mixing tool right there. So I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit, again, so that little pin can pop out the bottom. I'm gonna take my black stuff there we go I'm gonna push a little bit in there okay and then I'm gonna pull it back a little bit push a little bit more in there pull it back a little bit push some more in there pull it back all the way and push the last of it in there I'm fully injected now okay and so now what I got to do is I've got to do my my twist and twist and shout back and forth right so you can see we're getting the mix so that in and out is one is, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, holy this stuff is way thicker than yesterday's, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and I'm a third of the way there, so 
Hopefully this is gonna work out. You don't wanna push down in so hard that you push the, the, the end base in. You wanna just sort of know where your bottom is. I always look at where the, um, the material that's gooed onto this thing is, and I know if I get that right just inside the, the tip that I've gone to the right depth. Or better still, put it in the drill press and mix it in the drill press. Okay, look at that, so it's nice and consistent. That's not bad at all, it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take it out. So I'm gonna now go counterclockwise. One, two, three, it usually pops up pretty easy. I can see the tip, it's all really nice and gooey and it's done its thing directly into the garbage. My tip, oops, my tip, put my tip on here. Okay, we're gonna screw that all the way in. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my gun, excuse me. There we go, I've got my gun here. So I've got another casing here. I'm gonna turn this, pull it all the way back. So normally we could take up to a very long gun, but I think this is still gonna work just fine by putting my little, my little cartridge. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, well, yeah, it might. <laughs> okay, normally I'd have to get a smaller gun for this, but the tip hangs up just enough that it'll do. So we're gonna call that good. And we're gonna screw this back in and make sure this is correctly oriented. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, there it is. So you can see it starting to come out. There she is. And so now what I'm gonna do, exactly like what we said before, you guys are on the wrong side. Well, we'll do it this way. I'm gonna push it into the, the, the gap. So I'm gonna put it down, tip right into the, the point. And what I'm gonna do is as I'm applying it, I can see that big bubble on the end. And I'm gonna keep that big bubble growing as I go along. And I'm pushing it into the groove. Now I'm gonna match my speed with what I'm doing here. Okay, so there's the end of that row. Okay, and so I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna push into my groove. Oops, okay, a little bit there. Okay, down through there. Like that. Don't get going too fast, keep that bubble up. Okay, oh, there we go, moving a little faster. I'm squeezing harder too, so, oh, a couple little air bubbles inside, so you gotta, again, make sure that that gets done okay so now I'm good take the pressure off so I'm, I'm done with this in essence so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this thing okay I'm done with this so immediately this got another goober on there okay there good and so now what I'm gonna do uh, is the uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. get a wet finger a wet woozle and I'm gonna go over this the whole thing Okay, like this and what that's going to do is it's going to push everything to a nice flat finished surface actually i'm going to come back here just a little bit with this and we go like that and now i've got a really nice looking flat evened out it's filled and no gaps no nothing surface okay so now notice i got, got nasties on my finger yeah okay i'm stuck with it and so now what i got to do is i got to get the tape off as you know basically as quick as i can around the corners here, those little pieces hopefully will all come together and come off. So immediately into the garbage. Okay, I'm using my other hand so I don't get things dirty. Around the corner here again. Okay, and into the garbage. And that's when these little tabs are so handy because they help you to be able to grip onto the tape right away and not end up uh, doing what I'm gonna have to do here. Notice there's a little piece here that's decided to stay on. So now I gotta carefully take that off. Okay, get that into the garbage. I'm gonna pull my inside piece here. Yank that off. There we go, again, into the garbage. And it's so nice to have those little tabs at the end. Okay, like that. Okay, get rid of that. Squeezy, squeezy peasy. Oh, there it is there. And there we go. Look at that, no little hairs hanging off the edges, no nothing. It's nice and clean, nice and finished. Uh, the gap has been totally cleaned up and it looks really nice.
Okay, and that's really all there is to it. Take your time. Um, just be kind of picky, especially with the, the taping end of things, because again, it can look super nice when you're finished. In most cases, um, either you or maybe another department will come in and they'll actually paint over top of that. And because now it's all one flat, even surface, it literally disappears. And so if we do a good job during the sealing process, things are protected and things also look really good. So hopefully that's helpful.